All right, so uh, it's time for a one day build again. It's been a long time since I actually did one last time. I think it's been like five, maybe six weeks. Uh, so it's been way too long, I think, but uh, it's time to get back into them. And uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna basically create a Python script slash kind of a shell script and we're gonna automate the process of taking notes because right now what I use is Evernote and what I have to do is I have to open up Evernote, I have to go into it and look through all the notebooks, find the right one, go into that and then open up a new note inside that. And I kinda wanna speed that process up and I spent a lot of time in the terminal so I figured we're gonna create a shell script command that's essentially gonna create notes for us automatically. So that's what we're doing today. What we're going to start with is just writing out the requirements and then I'm going to go through in a little bit more detail what I want the app to do because I don't, I'm not quite clear on the exact requirements. So uh, we're going to start with that as usual. So what, what the requirements are is we need a command for creating the note. Uh, that's going to be the command that we use here in the terminal. And this command should then create a new text file. It should add it in the right directory. And it should, we should also be able to create folders using this command. And then after it's created the file, it should then open the text file in Sublime Text. The only reason for using Sublime Text is because that is really my favorite text editor, especially for just simple files like notes and things like that, which is what I'm mostly going to use this script for. And then it should also be able to create other file types. And then I created another title here called sequence slash process. And this is essentially what the process is going to look like for the program, what the steps are going to be for the program to take. Up here we have all the different commands that we could do. So the first one is where we spell everything out. We type in first note and then we type in the name of the note comes next. And then after that we type in the folder and the name of that folder. And then we type in what extension we want to add to it. And then that's the extension. So what I want to do is I also want to have like shorthand commands for all of this stuff. So NFE stands for note folder extension. So then first you type in the note, then you type in the folder name, and then you type in the extension. And then you can also just type in note and extension, NE, and then you type in the note and the extension. And this would then put a new note in just a folder called general or something like that. Um, and then we have a just N where you just create a new note and that will default to a .txt file. And uh, then we have also uh, the folder if you just want to create a folder you can just type in f and then that would be apps and then after we've typed in the command whatever the command is it should navigate to the notes folder which is going to be our main folder after it's navigated to that folder it should check if a folder named app already exists and if there's no folder named app then it'll create a new folder named app and uh, then we'll navigate into that folder and then we'll check within that folder if a file named my note already exists and if the file exists then it'll open that file in sublime text and if it doesn't exist then it'll create the file and then it'll open it up uh, so that's essentially what i'm thinking uh, that the app is going to be to start out with notes.py so there we go we have a new file called notes.py so what we want to do now is we want to be able to access the different arguments that we pass into the script. All right, so I'll start by just creating the shell script part of this app, and then uh, we'll get into creating the actual uh, Python part of it. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with that. So I just want to mention that today's video is actually sponsored by Hostinger, which is the hosting platform that I'm currently using for my website and blog and it's a platform that works really well and it feels really modern and has super easy integration with wordpress all you need to do is open your hosting control panel and then enter your details and click one button to install wordpress 
And I've actually used a few other services for hosting in the past, and I've found that Hostinger is by far the easiest to use. A couple of reasons for this is that they have super simple and clean UI, which is something that I really like. They have really fast load times and they have 24 seven customer support. It's just really good, which is why I personally use them and why I can also 100% recommend them to you guys. So if you just go to hostinger.com slash cal and then use the coupon code cal with capital letters, you will get up to 91% off your yearly web hosting plans. All right, so now this is done. Now we need to make sure that this Python script runs in the correct way. So that's what we're gonna do now. So now I'm able to actually get all of the arguments that we want. So if we type in note and then the name of the note and then folder and the name of the folder and then extension and then the extension then we get all of them printed out like this so we can see uh, the name of the note the name of the folder and the name of the extension as well uh, so that's really good the only thing is that uh, it doesn't really matter what you type in here and it doesn't matter what you type in here i could type in anything and it'll still print uh, the same things and I, I don't know if i like that Okay, so maybe we should just do something like this where it just says NFE and that's note, folder and extension. And then you just type in the name of the note, the name of the folder and the name of the extension. I think that's gonna be better because I think it looks better. It's easier to type out as well. All right, so right now we're able to create a new file and uh, we're able to type in the name of that file as well. Uh, we're not able to create a folder. We're not able to add the extension actually adding the extension is pretty simple we could just do all right now we're, we should be able to add the extension as well all right so the next thing that we're going to try to do is to pass a command to the python script to open up sublime text and this file that we create all right so i think this should work now if we type in the command which is nfe all right, there we go. So it opened up the note in Sublime Text for us. So that's the first step essentially done for us. Now comes the file organization. So uh, that's going to be the next step is to, first of all, navigate to the right place, create the file in the right place. So uh, what I've done now is I've made it so that it navigates back to the original place. So uh, if I navigate to uh, the desktop, for instance, desktop, and then I type in NFE note folder dot txt. What it will do then is it will create this uh, note in a specific subfolder and then it will navigate back into the desktop so I don't get out of the directory where I, where I was at, which is what it did before, before it navigated into this directory. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this as the directory or the folder where I keep all the notes. I've created a subfolder within the uh, project that I'm in now called notes. And this is where we'll have all of the different subfolders for all the different notes that we're gonna take. All right, so the thing that we're going to do now is going to be to uh, make sure that you can add pretty much any text file by just typing it out. And then that should automatically create the right type of extension. Do we want to create a dictionary? All right, so these are the extensions that I typically use. There's other ones that we can add in the future, but right now I'm just going to make do with these ones. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're creating a dictionary called extensions. And what we can do then is we can type in different things that we think people might type in. And then we can map that to Python. So now we're just gonna type that in for all the different variations of what you might type in uh, to get these types of files. 
All right, so uh, what we're doing now is we're checking what the extension is that we've typed in or that the person's typed in. So we're first of all getting uh, that argument. So this sys.args argv3 takes the third argument. This is the zeroth argument. This is the first argument. This is the second argument. And this is the third argument. So we're essentially taking this argument and checking whether that extension exists or maps to one of these extensions. And if it does, then the extension will be turned into that. So if we typed in something that doesn't exist in our map here, then what it'll do is it'll default to a .txt file. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create the folder. And when we create the folder, we also need to check whether that folder already exists. And if it does exist, then we don't need to create a new one. All right, so now I've created uh, a couple if else statements, essentially to check uh, whether the file already exists or whether the folder already exists. We get the file name and we append the extension to that file name. So the first thing that we check is whether the folder already exists. So whether my folder, my new folder already exists. And if it does exist, then we change the directory. So we navigate into that folder. And if it doesn't exist, then we create that folder and then we navigate into it. And after we've done this, then we check whether the file already exists within that folder. And if the file does exist, then we'll just open that up. And if the file doesn't exist, then we'll create a new file with that file name. And then lastly, we open the file up with sublime text. Name of the note, name of the folder, name of the extension. And what that does is open up this thing here, which says new note.txt, which is the, the file that we created. And it also creates the new folder here, my new folder. And then within that, it creates that text file that we wanted. Okay, so the next step now, I think, is going to be to create some sort of search uh, algorithm that's going to go through all of the folders and check whether a file already exists. This might be a bit of a difficult algorithm to figure out because uh, imagine that you have several different subfolders. It's going to get pretty tricky. Yeah, we need to we need to come up with a, a good good way to solve that. All right, so now I think I've solved it. It's taken me a long time to find a way to essentially loop through the directories and try to find the different files. I was using a different method at first that I thought was going to work, which, which was just a for loop and going through uh, os.listdir, which is kind of what you can do normally if you're looking for a file. So I found this other method here called os.walk. And then you basically just add the path that you want to look through. And then you can call a sub deer and deers and files. And it loops through all the files that it can find within that folder. So even if there are several subfolders, it still loops through all the files uh, within this folder. Okay, so let's run this and see if it actually works. All right, so it doesn't work right now. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can find a different way to do it. Okay, so now it actually works the way it should. So the way that I was able to solve it was by looping through the directories here and basically checking whether the directory is same as the folder name that we provide. And if it is, then we get the path to the subdirectory which we are in and we append the folder name to that as well. If the file exists, then uh, we'll return the path to the file where it is. But if the file does, uh, does not exist, then we'll create the path to that file. And here we also set this, uh, the global path to be uh, the path to that new, uh, newly created text file and then we get that back here and we open up a sublime text. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with this now. Uh, I'm gonna go through all the different commands and test them and kind of show you what they do. So NFE is the first one that we did. So we create a note, folder and the extension.
and then we create the folder and then the extension .txt and that will then create a folder called hello that you can see here and it will create my note.txt and then it will open up the note in sublime text and what you can do as well is you can type in nfe and then you can just type in and you don't have to type in anything else it will still create the note but in that case it will create it in the general folder so we'll add it here all right and the next one that we created is the on so that's open note and uh, if you type this in then you type in the note and here you only have to type in six characters and it will still find the right uh, the right file and then you can also specify the subfolder in case the note doesn't exist and you want it to get put in a specific folder then it will create that file in that folder for you so my note.txt opens up and then you can see it gets created and put into the subfolder that we specified and then we type in ne and then dart file dart then it opens up a dart file for us and it puts that in the right directory which is general and it just puts that there because uh, this is essentially if you don't want to specify where to put it you just type in ne and then that works the reason that i wanted this is because i usually spend a lot of time in the terminal so it's really simple now for me to just type in uh, on and then the note that i want to create and then i get that note and then i can just type start typing in things so uh, because that's something that i use a lot i just type in notes and for instance if i use evernote then i kind of have to go into evernote open up a new note and do that sort of stuff which I don't really want to do so this is a really uh, neat way to kind of solve that problem for me essentially creating my own note-taking app so uh, that was uh, the idea at least for this video and uh, I'll leave a link to the github repository in the description so that you can check it out if you want but yeah that's uh, it I'm pretty happy okay so that's another one day build done and dusted and i'm actually recording this a couple of days later and i've actually been using the script now for a couple of days and been really enjoying it i've used it a lot and way more than i thought i would so uh, i can definitely recommend trying this out either trying trying to build it from scratch on your own or uh, downloading the github repository that i'll link in the description of this video and just trying this out because i really enjoy it and also before you go i just want to mention that i've started a newsletter called clean code friday and that's basically going to be that i'll send out one short email every week containing a few of the things that i've found throughout this week uh, this can be things like articles i've read books i'm reading podcasts i've listened to productivity tips coding tips and tricks and really anything that i think you might enjoy so if this sounds interesting to you then you can go to caltech.com slash clean code and you can sign up for it there and then you'll get the next one and i'll also leave a link to that in the description of this video so that you can check it out but that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i'll see you in the next one